I'm Amber. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. We're at the corner of Main Street and Elder Avenue in front of the Queen's Botanical Gardens. The Queen's Botanical Garden was created for the 1939-1940 New York World's Fair. And now over a half a century later, the Queen's Botanical is leading New York City in green architecture featuring a green roof, solar panel, and an innovative wastewater system. The people here at the garden are interested in our environment and recycle it. Here in New York City, there's a lot of people, and a lot of people make a lot of garbage. But where does all that garbage go? Landfills. One way to cut down on garbage is to compost our food scraps. Sound hard? It is. Composting is easy and fun if you know how. Today we're here with Julia Corwin and Dan Tainow, the Queen's Compost Project team. They're here to show us how to make a worm bin and to start something called vermicomposting. What is compost made of? Compost is made of recycled organic matter that you can use to give to your plants for nutrients. What is vermicomposting? Vermicomposting is composting using worms. Uh, vermi is just another way of saying worms. What kind of container do I need? You need a container very similar to this one. It should be about a foot deep. And this one is a foot by a foot and a half wide, but these dimensions can change as long as it's about a foot deep. What kind of worms do I use? The worms we use are called red wiggler worms, and we order our worms from a worm farmer in Georgia. The worms you find outside we often call night crawlers, and they don't like to stay in a bin, but the red wigglers will stay in your bin. Where do I get the worms, and how many do I need? Well, we actually send away for them. Our worm farmer is in Georgia, but you can get them from a lot of different places. We start with a pound of worms, and each worm can eat half their weight in food every day. So a pound of worms can eat a half a pound of food every day. What do I feed my worms? You feed your worms your fruit and vegetable scraps. Uh, so like an apple core after you've eaten an apple, the banana peel, um, the top of a pepper after when you're cutting up a pepper, and then you mix that in with, uh, actually you put it underneath shredded paper, which they also eat. Where should I put my worm bit? Well, you want to keep these worms inside because they would freeze if it got too cold or overheat if it was too warm. A lot of people keep them underneath their sinks or in a closet or in your bathroom, just anywhere where they're not in the way, but when you're cooking or when you're done eating your food, you can stick it in there. How do I keep my worm bin from smelling? The most important way to keep the worm bin from smelling is to always have enough of dry shredded paper in there so that the moisture doesn't uh, block the oxygen from getting in and if it doesn't get oxygen that's when it smells. So you want to have that shredded paper. For more information check out the New York City Compost website. That's it from our corner of the world. See you next time.